Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Nexus NX5000 SLI 500 Watt Quiet Power Supply. This particular product has a continuous wattage of 500 which is adequate power for today's computer systems. Now how is this wattage determined? Well to understand that you need to know what rails are. Rails are basically well-regulated transformers which convert domestic current into the voltages that your computer system can use. And there are essentially two different rails, the 3.3-5 volt and the 12 volt rail. In this particular case, the approximate maximum peak output of the 3.3-5 volt rail is 240 watts and the 12 volt is 192 watts, which is essentially how the wattage of this power supply is determined. The 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is responsible for the motherboard, memory, PCI cards, AGP card and so on, while the 12 volt rail is responsible for the hard drives, DVD, CD-ROM, fans, etc. Also, some might be interested to know the peak amps on each rail. Well, the plus 3.3 volt is 30 amps, the plus 5 volt is 28 amps, and the plus 12 volt is 16 amps. Now let's have a closer look at the power supply. It comes with a very, very quiet 120 millimeter fan and it also has a lot of ventilation holes. This will assist in keeping the inside of the power supply cool. Also here at the back is the on off switch and the power cable connection. This product comes with all the leads sleeved. This looks fantastic but increases airflow inside the case because it cuts down on all the cable mess. Now it does come with a 20-24 pin motherboard connection as well as a 8 pin or 4 pin motherboard connection. It has two PCI Express video card connections so this power supply is capable of having two video cards connected to it. There are six standard 4 pin Molex connectors, two floppy and three serial ATA. Finally, have a listen to the fan. This power supply has many pluses. It's SLI, quiet, all the leads are sleeved, and there's plenty of them, but it does not come with a 6-pin motherboard lead. And while the 3.3 and 5-volt rails are strong, the 12-volt rail isn't. So I can't really recommend this power supply to anybody who's got lots and lots of drives and fans on their system. Rather than that, it does offer you quality, clean, reliable power. Overall, it's a great product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds. This has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can go into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, Please remember to help support 3dgameman.com. If you wish to support, please visit support3gm.com. Until next time, take care.